Hello again, Pew Pew practitioners. Today we are taking a look at some of the best duty weapons out there. I leaned heavily on a couple decades of experience, but also have several thousand rounds through most of these guns. We're gonna talk about them all, so get strapped into your restraint chair. Here we go. I may be dating myself a bit. I'm old. But the first off-duty weapon I purchased was a Gen 1 Glock 17. I didn't know much about guns at the time, but bought this one from a police chief I trusted. What I learned over the next few years was how incredibly reliable the Glock was. That's a reputation I still hold in mind, even though we're now five generations deep. Over the years, several more models sprang up to fill needs, and I used them. However, most agencies running the Austrian Wonder gravitate toward the G17 or the G19, which is roughly a half inch shorter. Glock truly epitomizes the saying, form follows function. It may not be the most beautiful or ergonomic, but over countless trainings and qualifications, I knew I could always count on mine to deliver accurate fire if I did my part. That's one of the main reasons police here in America and much of the rest of the world trust Glock. A relative newcomer to the law enforcement market, the Walther PDP, or Performance Duty Pistol, was the result of a collaborative effort that blended a lot of feedback from experts into a refined package. Outstanding ergonomics combined with a superior grip texture into a fighting pistol that offered everything law enforcement officer need. Good capacity at 18 plus one, optics ready, and one of the best stock triggers in a striker fired gun. I trained extensively with the PDP and really put the gun through its paces. I found it to be highly reliable and accurate too. With good grip, I was able to ride the dot through recoil and increase my speed without losing much accuracy. I carried this gun through the end of my career and only wished they had invented it sooner. I carried a 1911 on duty for a while. You may note its conspicuous absence from this list. But when Staccato started making the 2011, I was very curious because I knew the potential the gun held. In time, Staccato came out with the P and marketed it for law enforcement use. With a 20 plus one capacity, wonderful ergonomics, good reliability, and supreme accuracy, the P looked to be a serious contender as a duty weapon. I recently spent three days in the hot Texas sun attending a handgun mastery course with the Tactical Performance Center. The knowledge passed on was amazing and the P surpassed my expectations. While I had already retired by the time I got to try the P, I can unreservedly recommend it for duty use. Interestingly, 667 law enforcement agencies currently agree. During the early days of my career, patrol cars came with cigarette lighters and Remington 870s. This gun has been standard issue equipment for almost as long as police had cars. The reliability of the pump action shotgun is almost legendary, but the utility is perhaps not as well known. There have been a lot of various shells created over the years that have made the 12 gauge pump a jack of all trades. Anything from ceramic breechers, flares, noisemakers, and a whole slew of less lethal munitions evolved over the years and helped officers out with challenging situations. My last boomstick was an 18 inch scattergun technology special that saved my bacon during a close encounter with a home invading bear. The Remington 870 is a police staple. When I first started, we were issued full auto ARs from the 1033 program. That might sound exciting, but these old dogs were A1s from the 1960s. We started out with Colts, but eventually moved on to other brands that performed just as well. These weapons were kept locked up in our vehicles and were deployed in the most serious situations. While some urban agencies were moving to the MP5, the longer engagement distances in our rural jurisdiction made this rifle the better choice. The advent of the AR in policing was the result of a paradigm shift, due in part to the civil unrest of the times, but also escalating scenarios cops just didn't have the capabilities to deal with. Situations like the Texas clock tower shooter demanded new tools and tactics. So, like the shotgun, the AR-15 became commonly issued equipment, though some agencies took their time in learning this lesson. I'd also like to throw an honorable mention out to the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. Another weapon that I know many agencies use, but I had never tried, was the M&P from Smith & Wesson. I recently reviewed the M&P 2.0, and that was quite an experience. I really did not like the trigger when I first tried it, but after I shot it a few times, I thought it was genius. My groups were outstandingly accurate, the ergonomics were great, and the gun was wholly reliable. 
I realize this isn't an all-inclusive list. These are the guns that I either used on the job or knew about other agencies deploying. There are a lot of good duty weapons out there from different manufacturers. If you have a favorite, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Voice over.